Well, Ethan, back tonight for a beer review, and what I've got today is, uh, let me see if I can get the correct pronunciation on this. This is Duchess de Bournier. It is a Belgian Flanders red ale. It is 6.2% ABV. This is an 11.2 ounce bottle. So the European 11.2 ounce, 0.8 smaller than our standard 12 ounce bottles here in the States. Um, yeah, like I mentioned, a Flanders Red Ale, a style of beer I haven't really had before, um, to my knowledge. This is a Belgian beer. Bear with me, I'm looking up some specs on it. Yeah, uh, Flanders Red Ale style beer produced by, by Brewery Verhag in Vicht, Vic, Vichte, Belgium. After a primary and secondary fermentation, this ale is matured in oak barrels for 18 months. The final product is a blend of a younger 8-month-old beer with an 18, 18-month-old beer. The name of the beer is meant to honor... Duchess Mary of Burgundy. And there she is right there. Duchess Mary of Burgundy. I got this at Total Wine in Alpharetta. Uh, Mary of Burgundy, the only daughter of Charles the Bull. She was born in Brussels in 1457 and died in a horse riding accident. Like all Flemish red ales, Duchess de Bournier has a characteristically sour, fruity flavor similar to that of Lambic beers. I've heard of Lambic beers, but I've never really had one. Let's go ahead and get a pour on this. Okay, so it pours a very dark red, even brown color. On the camera, to you guys, it'll look almost black, but to me it's a dark red. Uh, sort of a copper, dark copper to light brown, but a one finger khaki colored foamy head. Ooh, on the nose I'm getting, yes, a very sour note. Fruity. Ooh, almost like a apricot, like a persimmon. Even like a um, like a Granny Smith apple, maybe. Let's go ahead and try it. Woo! Very fruity. Very sour. Interesting flavor. I don't think I've ever had a beer that tasted like this. This is like apricot, pear, some sort of sour type fruit. Almost like a cranberry juice, maybe. Definitely fruity. Very, very, very fruity. And this gets a um, a 93, an outstanding score on Beer Advocate. This is pretty good. It's different, though. Um, but I like trying new stuff. This is a good different, a unique different. Not your typical beer flavor. This is not your typical water, barley, malt, hops. This is... Fruity, sour, um, even a bit sweet, cherry, cranberry even. More more cranberry than, than cherry. There's a lot going on here. And it only 6.2% and has a nice, bold, full flavor. Not heavy-bodied like a stout, but a very full, upfront dominant flavor I 
I like it, but it's not something I would probably ever buy again, nor is it something I would drink that often. Um, this is not something I would drink for like a weekend beer or like going to the beach. That would be more like a Paps to Miller High Life. This is not that at all. So I'd probably never get this again, but it is interesting. It is new and exciting to try something like this. So with that said, I think I'll give it a 91, an A minus. I like it, but again, not something I would probably revisit. Not something I would probably go out of my way to drink because it is so far removed from the typical beer flavor, if that makes sense. So with that said, cheers and thank you for watching this beer review.